perfect. But whatever we have done in the earlier lectures was we have used hard coded values. The type into I have used Sharad, Raju, date of birth, developer, the phone number, mail, and everything was hard coded because we have the values of them right here. Let's try to make it dynamic and we will start accepting this particular values from the user. For that, to accept some values from the user, we have to use input dialog box. I'm dragging it right here and these are the properties of it. Is that a password? If it's yes, then you can check it because it will make it sensitive. It will just display it as stars, asterisk and label any options that you want to add, title that you want to give and the result where you want to store it. Okay, for that input and then I'm asking for the first name. Okay, once that is done, I will save it in a variable. For that, I'm pressing Ctrl K and first name okay enter I'm saving it and I'm passing this particular variable that we have created it's created in the variables and I'm passing that particular variable instead of hard-coded value first name okay so this is the input dialog box which will take the value from the user and will pass on the variable that particular value which is stored in this particular variable into this particular activity. I'm trying to refresh this and I will run it again. So this time I have been prompted with an option. This time I'm just providing the first name as Suman. I'm, I'm clicking on OK. So this time as we can see the first name was dynamic while the rest of the other activities were static. OK. So what I can do is I will do the same thing for every activity. OK. I'm going to do that for every activity. This will be the input. You can provide any text that you want. This is the last name. Copying this, putting out this. Sorry, I have forgot to create the variable over here. Control K, last name. And what was that particular field? It was date of birth. D O B. We have to create a variable dob click it input designation okay I have to create another variable here control K designation and another dialog box it is also an input this time it's phone number so it's phone and I'm creating a variable for that phone okay I have come till phone but see here we have to give a choice to the user to select male or female for that we can still use input dialog box and give it as input and here it's gender but to give him options to select from just go to the options and here we have options okay any number of values we have to provide them in the form of arrays arrays starts with flower brackets and end with flower brackets in between you can give any value it's male 
comma double quotes female okay fine but the problem over here is we have the selector for male but female we don't have it okay to make a decision we can go and use if okay and drag it here if whatever sorry I haven't created a variable for this here's this activity I have to create a variable it's called gender enter save it and if I go to if statement if I just click on gender it will show me this now if gender equal to male then click on this else I have to pick another check I have to indicate on screen the female now it's done okay so whatever we have done right now we have tried passing a dynamic value similarly we have to replace this mobile number with phone the variable that we have for phone and this developer with designation going upwards we have to replace this with DOB and this last name with last name and we are done see we have removed every hard-coded value and we have made them dynamic okay there is no hard-coded value right now here and I will just try to remove this and write the two variables here itself the first one is employee ID okay and I will introduce a new line over here VBLF this is a function that can be used to create a new variable and now it's employee mail okay I'm just changing this generated values we are done with that I'm clicking on new generation we have a fresh form with us right now let's run it sorry I'm running it is asking for the first name it's Sharad Mukpala date of birth 11th Feb 2020 designation dev phone number all eights okay male or female male okay so once that has received the input it has started entering the data and here we are we have got the message box which is displaying the employee ID this but and the official mail ID which has been generated for that particular employee that's all great